And good afternoon. My name is Dr. Laird here at Aaron Lakes Animal Hospital. Today I'm here with Bert and Shadow. Shadow today is here for microchipping. And so microchipping, the purpose of it is, is to go ahead and have some sort of identification um, device on your pet that if they happen to get lost, stolen, or happen to get away from you, um, that they will be able to be identified as your particular pet. Now, the one thing that I will tell you when people go ahead and have microchips implanted in their dogs, it is crucial that you go ahead and register your dog and keep up the registration information or the um, contact information with the company. I've seen it so many times where dogs will have a microchip implanted in them and then it's not registered. Or even or worst case or even worst case scenario is they will have the men, the information the contact information registered but they will, it'll be old information it won't be new information so you've gone through all that stuff to go ahead and have your dog implanted with a microchip and then you go ahead and you don't register it so very very important it's not that expensive I want to say it's probably between 15 to 25 dollars a year to go ahead and have them registered um, and typically it doesn't necessarily have to be with the exact company who makes the chip a lot of times you're able to go ahead and register it with other companies who go ahead and provide other services like sending out notices to everyone who has um, that particular kind of chip they also have apps so you can put alerts on there those are some of the different ways to go ahead and identify um, where which pet is lost and how to get a contact in that particular owner so the other thing that I want to show you today is when we actually actually implant the microchip um, it is a sizable needle and so if you come over here I'm going to show you this particular needle right here this is what we call a 22 gauge needle okay this is a very very pretty small needle the needle that we use for the microchip has to be big enough to go through a grain have, has to be big enough to have a grain of rice for it, okay I know shadow trust me you're not going to want to see this later this is the needle that we have to use for the microchip and as you can see, the needle is fairly large. Now, normally what we will do is, I, the way that I explain it to people is, it's like a piercing. So typically what we're gonna do is, it's gonna be a one, two, three, and that's it kind of deal. And so you, we usually don't use any local anesthetic. We don't use any sort of sedative because it is something that is going to cause um, more issues, more stress than it's really worth. Okay. The other thing I want you to know is that this is not a GPS tracker. I repeat, a not a GPS tracker. This is something that will only identify, um, that will be able to identify if people use a scanner. There are different kinds of microchip scanners, and if you notice, I'm gonna see. So there, it goes ahead and identifies the number. Versus, if we go ahead and we look and we can't find it, it's gonna say no ID found. All right, so what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna go ahead and place this microchip in him. You guys are gonna watch this. We're gonna see how this goes. And um, fingers crossed, it'll work out great. All right, so here we go. Um, Alejandro, I think you might need to help Bert, but we'll see how this goes. All right, let's see. One, two, three. That's it. Shadow was a champ. Good boy. A champ. If somebody came at me with this needle, I would be screaming like a little girl. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to scan the area, make sure that the microchip is still in there. Come here, Shadow. Come here, Shadow. Good boy. And the microchip is in there. Now, the other thing that I want you to know is it is very common for them to bleed after we implant the chip. And no blood so don't freak out if your dog is bleeding afterwards um, typically just put some pressure on it that will usually help stop the bleeding otherwise as you saw with shadow it doesn't really hurt very much but i'm sure it does cause some discomfort if somebody told you that it didn't they're lying but shadow handle it like a champ so if you guys have any questions about this particular video leave it in the comment box if you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up subscribe and share Thanks for watching and have a great day. Good boy, Shadow.